Welcome to Data Processing More Than a Billion Rows Per Second. I'm joined by our speaker, Kaigai Kohei, founder of HeteroDB. Today we will cover how SSD to GPU Direct SQL, implemented as an extension of Postgres, optimizes data flow from storages to processors over PCIe bus for efficient execution of analytic reporting workloads. My name is Lindsay Hooper, and I am one of the Postgres conference organizers. I'll be your moderator for this webinar. Let me tell you a little bit about your speaker. Kai Guy has been a contributor to Postgres and the Linux kernel for over 10 years. Since 2012, he's been the primary developer of PGStrom, which is an extension of Postgres used to accelerate analytic and reporting queries using GPU and NVMe. He founded HeteroDB in 2017 for productization of the PGStrom technology and to democratize data analytics. With that, I'm going to hand it off to Kai Guy. Take it away. Okay. Thank you for joining my talk. Uh, let, uh, uh, I already updated uh, today's slides uh, here. It is uh, slide sharing. Uh, if you want to uh, open uh, today's material on your desktop, uh, please use this link. And uh, let's start my talk. First of all, uh, it is our self-introduction. My name is Kaigai Kohei, uh, Chief Architect and CEO of HeteroDB. Uh, HeteroDB is a start, uh, small startup company on Tokyo uh, for uh, operated for uh, three years. Uh, we uh, started uh, uh, the company uh, to productionize and develop uh, PG Strong, that is um, GPU accelerated uh, functionality as a uh, possible SQL extension. Uh, first of all, uh, let me introduce uh, what is PG Strong, that is um, a custom scan provider of PostgreSQL that uh, offloads uh, some kind of uh, SQL workload to the GPU. Uh, it has a uh, multiple functionality to, uh, to accelerate um, scan workloads, typically uh, evaluation of where plus and uh, join and uh, group by. That is a uh, typical use cases for uh, analytic workload. And, uh, and uh, you can access PG Strong uh, from GitHub. Uh, it is an open source project, uh, has been uh, developed uh, since uh, 2012. And uh, we uh, uh, currently support uh, PostgreSQL uh, 10, version 10, and uh, 11, and 12, but uh, works in progress uh, for version 13. So uh, let's start the, today's main topic. Uh, this talk, uh, this talk uh, says uh, we process a billion rows per second in a single node PostgreSQL. What workload is uh, our target? It is uh, IoT or M2M class uh, log data processing. Uh, since uh, many of devices uh, generate uh, log data day by day, and uh, it sh shall be uh, uh, accumulated on the data processing uh, systems. Likely, uh, it is a kind of database. And uh, uh, administrator or user or application uh, want to uh, process these uh, large log data and uh, write, um, um, write the result uh, uh, for visualization, uh, understanding the uh, trend, and so on. In this kind of uh, data set, uh, we have uh, some uh, problem uh, since uh, data size is uh, usually very large. Uh, easily uh, grows to a terabyte class. And this kind of uh, large data set 
uh, need need um, many and many times uh, for importing and uh, and uh, system administration administration uh, tend to be uh, complicated. So uh, let us introduce uh, uh, one uh, typical uh, usage scenario. Now, when I had a talk with uh, folks in a uh, semicon uh, semiconductor industry, uh, he said um, a semiconductor factory uh, generate uh, uh, 20 terabyte of data uh, per year. Uh, a factory uh, have many of uh, machines uh, to uh, product uh, semiconductor uh, material and uh, these uh, machines have uh, sensors. It is, uh, uh, it is uh, corrected and uh, saved to PostgreSQL database. Now, people, uh, uh, administrator, uh, runs uh, uh, queries to, uh, uh, to uh, processing uh, data to get uh, knowledge and uh, insight uh, from the data. Uh, so it is a self, uh, it is kept up to uh, five years. So uh, in their environment, uh, up to 100 terabyte data is, uh, is a process, process. On the other hand, um, recent server hardware uh, can, uh, can have um, stretch uh, more than 100 terabyte in um, standard 2U RAC server. In this, uh, for example, uh, this server have uh, 24 slot for NVMe SSDs. Uh, when we use uh, 8 terabyte uh, SSDs, uh, we can, it means uh, we can save uh, 192 terabyte and uh, its cost is uh, enough, uh, enough reasonable. But uh, tons of data is uh, not small enough. We need to, uh, we need to uh, some kind of optimi optimization uh, to uh, large uh, uh, processes. Today, uh, I like to introduce uh, three key technology. Um, SSD first is SSD to GPU direct SQL. Second is uh, RO FTW, and the last is uh, table partitioning. So uh, the first thing is uh, SSD to GPU direct SQL. Uh, First of all, uh, what you, uh, I'm not sure what your uh, impression for GPUs. Uh, it is uh, widely uh, used for uh, supercomputing, uh, simulations, uh, computer graphic, and machine learning, uh, for example. Uh, all of them um, computing intensive workload, and uh, GPU is uh, Usually used for accelerator of uh, accelerator of computing intensive workloads. So you may uh, you may wonder uh, how GPU can accelerate I/O intensive workload. Let's see. Uh, let's see the, uh, uh, overview of uh, uh, x86 64 server. This server have a uh, CPU, uh, RAM, and uh, uh, many uh, comprehensive devices. It is uh, usually connected over PCIe bus. When we process uh, many data saved as uh, databases, we have to load a data block on stretch over the PCIe bus into a uh, main memory, RAM. And uh, when we process uh, when we process the data set, uh, we give an 
where class uh, join group by on the SQL query. And uh, many of our uh, rows are filtered out by the conditions, where conditions. It means uh, we load the data from stretch into a main memory to carry the junk data. It is a uh, waste of uh, IO bandwidths. So uh, PG Strong uh, changes the uh, uh, flow of the data of the PCI bus. We use the peer-to-peer DML uh, from SSD to ZPU. Uh, PG Strong controls uh, uh, PG Strong control data flow to load the data block on SSD into a ZPU memory over the PCI bus. It is a direct transfer, so uh, it doesn't consume the CPU cycle and uh, main memory buffer. Once PostgreSQL data blocks is uh, moved to a ZPU device, uh, we can run a SQL query in ZPU uh, under the uh, March uh, thousand uh, threads in parallel run the where class uh, join and group by. Even if a uh, source state has a billion rows, it is not rare to uh, reduce the data size uh, into uh, hundreds or thousands of rows by uh, group by class. So once data size is reduced dramatically, uh, it is not a tough task for CPUs. Uh, this, this diagram, sh this figure shows the background technology of uh, SSD to ZPU Direct SQL. We use uh, uh, ZPU Direct RDMA by NVIDIA. This technology allows to map a part of ZPU device memory on the physical address space of a uh, host system. Uh, once, uh, once PCI device memory get um, host physical addresses, we can use this address as a destination of uh, NVMe read command. When we uh, send an uh, NVMe read command to NVMe device to load the data block to uh, this area, it is uh, uh, it is intermediated by NVMe controller to load the data block into a ZPU device memory directory. So uh, we like to sh uh, we like to uh, show a um, benchmark result uh, using SSD to ZPU direct uh, by a star schema benchmark. We used. Uh, a simple 1U RAC server with uh, one ZPU, uh, Tesla V100, and uh, three SSDs, uh, three SSDs, NVMe SSDs, uh, sliced by uh, MD RAID 0. Uh, Star Schema Benchmark, uh, well, Shimred uh, IoT class uh, workload says it has a single large table. Uh, line order. That is, uh, that is a core of workload. It has, uh, uh, in, in case of scale factor equal uh, 400, uh, the size of line order is uh, 350 gigabyte. And uh, uh, query, uh, query try to join a line order to other table and uh, runs a uh, group by uh, uh, on the various uh, columns. Star schema benchmark uh, defines uh, 13 different queries on uh, this data set. In the result, uh, PC shown with uh, SSD to ZPU Direct SQL uh, pulls out uh, uh, very uh, good performance uh, in comparison to uh, PostgreSQL. Uh, PostgreSQL rolls the dataset uh, 
via file system, even, uh, even those uh, PostgreSQL runs a query in parallel, the data access uh, over the file system is a little bit uh, expensive. On the other hand, uh, PG Strong uh, uses uh, direct access uh, to SSD uh, and uh, runs uh, uh, a start schema benchmark query in ZPU side uh, on the parallel. Its performance is about uh, three times faster uh, than uh, possible SQL result, normal possible SQL result. Its query execution throughput is uh, nearly uh, eight gigabytes per second on single uh, single CPU and uh, one URAC server configuration. We implement uh, SSD to GPU direct using uh, PostgreSQL extension and uh, own kernel module. A PG Storm extension uh, uh, sends a special request to uh, this module. Uh, uh, this kernel module uh, trans translates the file offset into a, a block number on the block device. Then it sent a uh, LVME request to uh, other block layers. That is our uh, first technology. And the uh, second one is uh, column raster. Uh, let us uh, introduce our FDW. Uh, you may see an uh, Apache Arrow. Uh, that is an open source project uh, sub, uh, supported by uh, Apache Foundation, and uh, it defines a uh, data structure uh, on the file system. And uh, uh, this data format is uh, designed to have a column-oriented uh, column uh, structured data, and uh, also designed to uh, exchange uh, many of our uh, big data uh, applications. We add, uh, uh, we add a functionality to read and write uh, Apache Arrow uh, dataset uh, from uh, PostgreSQL. Uh, this uh, Apache Arrow uh, defines uh, various kinds of uh, dataset. Uh, uh, Fortunately, this uh, data set almost have um, a one-to-one -one mapping with uh, PostgreSQL data types. So uh, uh, our usual data set can easily uh, transport to Apache Arrow format. And uh, one other uh, one other background uh, we like to introduce is uh, log data characteristic. When we run the traditional um, uh, reporting query on Oracle system, it is uh, it processes the data generated by uh, OLTP system. We can say. This kind of data is generated uh, inside a database system. So uh, no need to import the data, uh, data again. But uh, when we use uh, IoT and M2M uh, log data, usually uh, mobile device don't uh, connect to the database uh, directly. Uh, usually a gateway server uh, uh, receives uh, uh, receive, uh, daily log data and uh, it is uh, imported to the uh, database system again. Okay, so uh, time for uh, data importing is uh, quite, uh, uh, quite a heavy uh, operations on these kind of systems. 
when we use uh, Pachero, uh, even if uh, many of uh, device generator uh, data and uh, gateway server receive it, as long as it write out uh, Apache Arrow files, no need to import, import is a uh, data copy. Uh, once uh, gateway server uh, write out Apache Arrow file, we can map uh, this file as a foreign table. Since it is a file mapping, uh, we don't need to copy the data set uh, one by one, one by one. By one. And uh, we can also generate the uh, Apache Arrow file uh, from the database tables using a utility tool, PG2 Arrow. And so, Arrow FDW also have a limited capability uh, to write uh, data into Apache Arrow file, uh, but it is uh, only workable on a batch, in, batch insert. So uh, once we map the data set on Apache Arrow format, from the standpoint of PG show, it can be also a source of the data to be loaded to ZPU, even if uh, even though it is not a PostgreSQL heap data. Uh, we can load the data set from uh, Apache, Arrow, uh, Apache Arrow file. And uh, Apache Arrow is a columnar format. So uh, as long as uh, uh, as long as we can identify what column is referent references in the query, we need uh, we can lose only reference to color. It uh, dramatically reduces the amount of I.O. and also uh, help to uh, helps helps to uh, performance of uh, SSD GPU direct SQL. Uh, this is uh, another result of the performance benchmark. When uh, when I saw uh, this result shows the number of rows processed uh, per second, and uh, blue result, uh, blue result and orange result is uh, what I showed uh, several pages before, and uh, uh, arrow FD, uh, arrow FDW uh, reduce the amount of uh, I/O according to the uh, query patterns. So, uh, in case of uh, Q1 series, it uh, references a very limited number of rows. So, uh, amount of I/O is uh, small. In the result. Uh, number of rows processed per second is a very high score on a Q1 series. Q2 series reference more of rows, so uh, its performance is uh, slow, uh, its performance looks uh, slower than a Q1 series, but uh, much, much uh, faster than uh, low bears uh, data structures. Uh, when I saw uh, this benchmark result, uh, I doubt uh, whether it is a reasonable result uh, since uh, it is uh, too fast. Uh, in case of uh, query uh, two one, it references uh, four columns: uh, error part B, error sub key, uh, order date, and uh, error revenue. And uh, the total amount of the I/O for uh, query Q1 is about 159 gigabytes. It is about 23% uh, of the entire data set, and uh, its execution time is uh, 
24.3 seconds. So, uh, actual uh, I/O bandwidth is uh, 6.46 gigabyte per second, and uh, it looks uh, quite uh, reasonable for uh, triple uh, striped uh, SSD configurations. That is the second technology we use. Uh, uh, we use uh, to process a uh, large volume of the data set. The third thing is uh, table partitioning. Uh, when, when we look at the log data characteristic, uh, here is a uh, difference uh, from uh, transactional data. Uh, since uh, log data is uh, usually insert only, uh, very, very rarely updated and uh, deleted. So, uh, MVCC is um, not significant. And uh, once, uh, for example, uh, when we partition the data by year, once, uh, once uh, uh, we go to uh, 2020, uh, no more data will be uh, added uh, to 2019 or 2018. Uh, since, uh, uh, since log data usually uh, have a timestamp and it is uh, generated, generated when data is, uh, 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 data is generated. Uh, so, due to the characteristic of uh, log data, uh, we can uh, we can use a partitioned table uh, with uh, mixed chart uh, physical tables. When we uh, when we define the uh, partitioned table with uh, normal PostgreSQL table and uh, arrow foreign tables. Uh, we can uh, we can run uh, we can run uh, query on uh, all of the data with a higher performance due to columnar data structures, and uh, it is rate only but uh, no problem. New log data will be uh, written to. Uh, PostgreSQL table only. And once a month later, uh, we can export the log data current into the last month. It, is, uh, it contains uh, data for uh, one month is, and uh, uh, the red table uh, by a PostgreSQL heap uh, will uh, contain the uh, only current masses. But uh, here is a problem uh, when you see the partition table uh, for, uh, for table joining. Uh, since uh, current implementation of PostgreSQL partition try to uh, Try to uh, gather the uh, scan result from partitioned table first, and then it joins to uh, non-partitioned table. Uh, this is a typical um, query execution plan when we join a partitioned table with non-partitioned table. Uh, optimize it construct a query execution plan uh, with uh, table scans on partition 0, partition 1, partition 2, and it is uh, gathered, then it is joined. Once that set is, uh, that set is back to uh, CPU, uh, it is how to uh, optimize by SSD to GPU direct. Uh, 
since uh, data is already located on main memory. So uh, I add, I added an X, I added an enhancement on PGSOL to rewrite a query execution plan uh, to distribute a non-partitioned table into a partition relief for table joining. Once, uh, once table joining are uh, distributed for each partitioned relief, we can run a scan and join and prayer uh, that is equivalent to partial aggregate for each uh, partitioned leaf. And then, uh, and then uh, append load uh, gathers uh, uh, partial result for each partition. That is, uh, that is a modified uh, query execution plan. You can see uh, no uh, partition table T1 is uh, distributed all the partitions uh, partition relief and uh, hash, join, hash join is uh, executed uh, for each uh, partition partition relief. After that, uh, append all the results. That is, uh, uh, that is a functionality I call the asymmetric partition-wise join. This kind of uh, partitioning uh, tightly combined to a uh, physical layer of the thresh at the GPUs. Uh, when we run uh, when we run the uh, on uh, GPU optimized uh, servers. Some models have uh, PCI switches uh, that bypass the uh, that bypass uh, data flow uh, when we use uh, peer to peer DMA. And uh, IO expansion box uh, can also have uh, a direct pass uh, between. Uh, devices. If we have a, a partition leaf for each SSD, an ideal uh, dead flow is uh, to ideal dead flow is uh, to cop to load uh, SSD load from the load sorry. The ideal data pass is uh, data load from SSD to close GPU. Once, uh, once uh, data box is loaded to close GPU and run a uh, scan join group by workload on the GPU, uh, all we need to uh, transfer to a CPU and a main memory is uh, uh, pre-processed and uh, it is uh, very small. So, uh, so as long as uh, uh, we can uh, we can choose a cross CPU over PCI switch. Uh, uh, Workload, uh, workload of CPU to transfer uh, transfer a peer to peer PCI packet is uh, quite limited. For the kind of uh, special optimization, uh, PG from uh, checks uh, topology bus topology of PCI bus. Uh, in in this example. Uh, GPU zero has uh, GPU zero and uh, NVMe zero and NVMe one uh, is connected uh, very closely on the PCI bus. So uh, when query try to uh, scan the table on NVMe zero or NVMe one. This query execution plan uh, tend to choose a uh, ZPU cell. Uh, 
zip yourself. On the other hand, a table scan on NVMe. NVMe 2 uh, tend to choose a zip one in this case. It is uh, shown as a GPU SSD distance matrix, and uh, uh, it shows uh, distance and uh, preferable GPU for each uh, NVMe devices. And that is a uh, key of uh, query optimization. So, uh, that's uh, three technologies uh, I introduced is a key of uh, key of uh, achieve uh, view rows uh, per second uh, processing. So uh, we run the star schema benchmark actually on the large scale uh, HPC servers. Uh, First of all, uh, we can see, uh, we can expect uh, 8 to uh, 10 gigabytes per second uh, physical data transfer rate uh, per GPU and uh, full SSD unit uh, expected uh, from the result of 1U, a small uh, benchmark result. And uh, once we uh, move the data set into a columnar format, it just looks uh, 25 to uh, 30 gigabytes per second of uh, effective, effective data transfer uh, throughput. Uh, since, uh, column, since columnar format uh, uh, allow to load the data set only reference the columns, usually it is uh, very limited. And once we run the query execution at the four unit in parallel, uh, its effective data transfer ratio uh, is expected to 100 to 120 gigabytes per second. It is an effective data transfer ratio, but uh, it also means uh, we can process uh, we can process 100 terabyte log data within uh, 20 minutes, uh, depending on the requirement, but uh, it is a um, uh, reasonable uh, response time for large scale batch jobs. So we built a um, benchmark environment using uh, uh, for you, uh, HPC server and uh, four GPU and uh, 16 uh, SSDs. That is a photograph. Uh, here is a, uh, here is a Tesla V100 GPU and uh, it is uh, connected, uh, it's, uh, it is uh, connected to the next to uh, SSD connector. Uh, this is the HPA of uh, NVMe SSD and it is uh, connected to uh, JBOC uh, devices. It is uh, connected uh, one by one. And uh, we built a partition table on a uh, line order. It is distributed into uh, four child tables, and, and uh, uh, using a uh, hash partitioning. In total, the uh, data size is uh, 3.5 terabytes, and the individual uh, partition will have uh, 880 gigabytes uh, for each. Then, uh, result is uh, quite good. Uh, wh when we run uh, Statskip, uh, certain, certain uh, start schema benchmark queries, Hosel uh, SQL uh, process about uh, 60, uh, 
65 uh, million loads per second. And uh, in case of low data bears, uh, SSD to GPU direct by PG Strong, uh, it processed about uh, 250 million loads per second. Then we use um, columnar data, uh, some query pattern uh, over the billion loads uh, per second uh, process. That is the result of four GPU and uh, 16, uh, 16 SSDs. It is uh, one aspect of the benchmark result. Uh, we uh, visualize the result of IO start uh, during query executions. Uh, this is uh, 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 this is uh, between a uh, query execution of Q11. Uh, the next is Q12, Q13, and so on. That shows uh, individual. Uh, individual SSD unit uh, shows about uh, 10 gigabyte per second dead throughput. And uh, uh, individual uh, partition reef uh, achieved uh, uh, 10 gigabyte per second. So in total, uh, we can raise a dead set uh, from SSD in 40 gigabyte uh, per second uh, to process a dead set. It is uh, almost uh, hard hardware limitations. So that is a result uh, I wanted to uh, I wanted uh, to introduce, and uh, uh, I have uh, plan to talk at the PG conference in New York City uh, last uh, last March, uh, but cancel. <laughs> So at the last, uh, at the last of uh, today's talk, I'd like to introduce uh, future directions. Uh, one, uh, from one movement uh, I'd like to introduce is uh, uh, GPU Direct Fresh uh, recently announced from uh, NVIDIA. That is uh, almost uh, equivalent technology uh, with our software stack in Linux kernel. Uh, this new API uh, intermediate uh, data transfer from uh, SSD to uh, GPU. But uh, we don't uh, need to a uh, special uh, kernel module. So, uh, as long as uh, applications support uh, GPU direct storage, we don't need to uh, install our uh, own developed uh, Linux kernel module. And uh, some other uh, third party vendor uh, supports uh, this GPU direct storage. So, uh, it means uh, PG Strong can use uh, uh, these uh, third vendor uh, solutions like uh, compressed supported SSDs or software defined storage over fabric network and so on. And uh, one, other, uh, one other new feature is uh, PostGIS support. Uh, since IoT and M2M data uh, often contains uh, geolocational positioning data, uh, latitude and uh, longitude. This uh, locational data is uh, accumulated day by day, and uh, people want to uh, analyze uh, these locational data with uh, definition with uh, uh, geometric uh, polygon data. That is, uh, that is a very uh, usual workload and uh, I was asked many times, uh, but uh, so uh, 
I try to implement it. Currently, um, GPU version of PostGIS support a very limited uh, APIs, uh, distance and uh, contents or uh, crosses. Uh, and uh, we also, uh, currently, uh, we are under development of uh, GIS index support uh, for uh, related to GIS. That is, uh, that is very helpful for uh, GPU characteristics since uh, GPU can run very uh, large number of threads in parallel. So uh, we can search uh, R3 index uh, for each point uh, gathered from uh, a mobile device or car a drone and so on. And once we can search R3 index by a thousand set in parallel, I expect uh, it is a much faster uh, option uh, than a CPU based uh, R3s. So uh, that's all uh, I wanted to talk today. Uh, here is a repository of post uh, PG show and uh, package distribution. A document uh, provided here uh, in English and uh, Japanese. The contact address is here. It is a mail address. And uh, you can also ask me any kind of question over Twitter, Kekai uh, Gai, myself, or Heterody. Uh, that's all. Uh, thank you for your joining and uh, hearing uh, my talk.